Well, I told them in September, we're gonna go to the museum. And in October, I, I set the date. And like every class, like, when are we going to the museum? When are we going to the museum? And then when we come to the museum, it is like Disneyland. It is like this magical place, but we get to come before the general public comes. Whoa, we're coming to this special place and it's all for you. The Isabella Museum, which is magical peaceful and beautiful. It's just a calm place where people can look at the paintings and get their mind off of things. The space is so beautiful and things are on a scale that they don't really see in their day-to-day -day lives. And it's really, really exciting. It makes them feel important that they get to be in this place and they get to plop down in front of some art and they get to talk about it. I think many other kids should go to museums because it's like a you don't know where you're going to see there. It's like always a little mystery, and it's always an adventure to go. Well, in my classroom, it was a little bit of like a special time, and I know lots of other teachers do, like Museum Monday. What happens in the classroom is that the kids get really comfortable. Just knowing that they had this space to express themselves and have their own opinions and that it's never wrong to say what's on your mind. I feel like it's kind of like relieving that like there's no wrong answers and you can just see what other people think. The kids are telling me what the picture means and I'm just saying it back to them. That's what's being shared. That's what's being instructed is their ideas. I like talking about it because I can share my ideas to other people and other people share ideas to me. But one of the things that makes the Gardner program so special is our intensive attention on teacher professional development. So I signed up and walked in the building for the first time. It was just like we all got to have a really special experience in the galleries. And while that was happening, we were also starting to get the foundation laid for like what we were going to be learning how to do. The teachers love everything about it. They love the fact that they're learning and they're put in a situation where they are the student. I think there's a lot of pressure on teachers to reach certain standards and to have students be at a certain level. And we're really sometimes missing that joy factor. I feel like this is restoring my joy and my, nope, it's restoring my joy yeah. in teaching. This community is incredible. I've been to lots of professional developments over the years, and this was just like the best of the best. 